for my interview, I would like to invite Mr. George Song to the stage, uh, one of the co-founders of Chinese group buying website Didatuan, one of the fastest growing uh, group buying websites right now in China. Hey, how are Hi. you? Good, nice to meet you. Please have a okay, seat. Thanks everybody. Uh, George, please quickly uh, introduce yourself about your background. Uh, you were previously uh, at Google and HP, um, and also about your, your company, Didat One. Okay. Uh, actually, I worked uh, uh, in the IT and the uh, internet uh, industry for the 22 years. Uh, four years in the Google, uh, 12 years in HP, uh, two years in my own you know, software company in Shanghai and four years in the National Meteorological Bureau to do the weather forecasting. Um, for the Dida Tuan, we set up a Dida Tuan in uh, July last year. Uh, the f our five co-founders is all come coming from uh, Google, uh, HP, Motorola, Procter Gamble, uh, Nokia. You know. Before that, they also do the sales job you know, on the street in the local company. Uh, Dita uh, we, we, we run the Dita Twan for almost one year. Uh, we grow very fast in, uh, you know, in, in terms of the revenue, you know, trade volume, you know, in the top 10 in the China right now. Um, that's it. All right, great. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, one very interesting aspect that you mentioned that uh, you're five co-founders and that all of them uh, came out of Google. Uh, uh, four of them. Okay. One from uh, Baidu and Motorola. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But so all search people, and you know, we looked at the the group buying market when when Groupon got its investment in in uh, late uh, 2009, and when then the Groupon craziness started in all over the world, including China, in in early 2010. And at that time, when we looked at it, uh, it was clearly all about the deals. Uh, it, it was clearly built on on quality and experience, uh, something unique to offer to consumers. And that again required a, a huge sales force or a huge team on the ground to source those deals. Uh, so I'd be interested to, you know, to learn uh, with you guys coming from, uh, from Google, which is more like an advertisement or, or technology platform, did you have the right co-founders in place? How were they able to build up such a big uh, uh, sales force in such short time to source enough deals? Uh, you know, to, to get that initial traction with your consumers. Okay, certainly, you know, in a group on type of business, it's very important, it's a sales team, uh, to find a better deal, right? So, you know, five co-founders, you know, two of the guys, uh, they are, their sales, you know, very senior sales guy. Uh, one is uh, in, a, in charge of a North, re North region, one is in charge of a South region. So the, uh, their senior sales manager in the Google in charge of the reseller business in the Northern China and the South China. Before that, they all do the sales management job, like in uh, Nokia, in the Yahoo, uh, in the local you know, computer company like uh, TCL, Fangzheng. Mm. Uh, so these two guys have so many, many you know, sales management uh, experiences, uh, very strong. Uh, also, you know, we leverage our reseller network across China because when we do the Google, you know, we in charge of the reseller business, we know uh, reseller situations in almost every city in China. Oh, interesting. So we work, we work very closely with the reseller in the early stage so we can quickly set up our sales team in mm. the local city. Then gradually we merge this to be our sales team. Right. Very interesting. That's a very, very uh, powerful combination uh, in, in a sense, and probably also unique to compare to some of the other Groupon clones out there. Uh, which brings us maybe to the, the second question. Now, you know, now we understand where you're coming from and how you were able to gain this initial traction and now are one of the, the fastest growing companies in that field. Where does your company stay today? How is it positioned in, in this market of, of group buying Tuango websites in China? How does it differentiate itself from, from all the other players? Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, opened the city right now. It's around uh, 22 cities. Uh, at the very beginning, at the July 14th, we uh, opened the uh, six city at, at one time. It's uh, 
largest cities, you know, I've opened at one time. Uh, we grow the you know, opening a city very fast, but uh, in the, by the last, end of last year, we realized that you know, um, we have to balance uh, the growth speed and to build the team and build the model and pro uh, process to make sure you know, we can better service our consumer and better service our merchants. So we are uh, slowing down to open the cities. Uh, our position is that, you know, uh, I think in China, uh, the most largest uh, cities, uh, which, you know, group on type of model can take a effect, is around 30 cities. So by the end of the year, we plan to cover the 30 cities, largest of the 30 cities in China, uh, using our direct sales force, um, and make sure in that cities, you know, will be uh, top, uh, top rank. Uh, I also we want to open an, around 30 cities, another 30 cities uh, around the, uh, China and use the reseller models. So we want to combine the two models to cover around the 60 cities. Oh. Yeah. So one thing I'm, I'm, I'm hearing from you, or correct me if I'm wrong, the way I understand it, you're using the, the Google approach, how you dealt with both the resellers um, in order also to uh, differentiate yourselves by, by giving a better coaching, uh, a better service to the actual merchants in training the them differentiation on how to use of, the platform? Uh, sorry. Sure. Uh, yeah, for positioning is that, you know, we still think the Groupon type of uh, model is a very strong, powerful advertising platform for the local merchants. Uh, certainly, in China, there's a lot of uh, Tuango players. They try to, to do to use a group as a, you know as a sales channel to do the sales, so this opposition we, we still focus on the advertising part. Uh, second, you know we don't want to opening that many cities, you know, at this time. We want to focus on larger cities. Uh, the second, the third, uh, we think you know we have to help the local merchants to build uh, entire marketing system. From the you know awareness, uh, new ac new customer acquisition, uh, return customer transition, and uh, VIP customer management. So we use the Twango to try to cover the first two parts, and also we try to uh, we also s uh, build like email, like a short message, uh, and also Weibo to try to get their trial customer, new customer to transit to the, you know, their normal customers. And also at this time, you know, we've worked with uh, some third party uh, CRM uh, players to manage mm. their loyal customer. And in the future, we plan to build our own uh, VIP uh, CRM system. So we try to build the whole system then to, to meet the local merchants, you know, core marketing needs. Mm. Because their marketing needs is not only new customer acquisition, and they really want to say, this new customer, how many of them you know, transit to the, their normal customer, and how to increase their loyalty, increase their spending. Mm. So we try to build the whole, uh, Okay. Whole system. Uh, I can, I can hear a very, still very uh, googly approach uh, to also your business in terms of, of uh, the, uh, the thinking of Google. How do you, um, how did you react when you heard that Google was doing its own after not not being able to acquire uh, players like Groupon? How did you react when you learned that Google itself was moving into that space internationally? Did you think that is a good idea? Uh, do you, you know, do you see um, the business of group buying? moving away from a, more of a content play where it's all about providing deals uh, to actually players like Google that are you know, providing more of a platform for the uh, merchants to, to, um, to manage it themselves. Uh, do you think could a similar approach, first of all, will that be successful internationally for Google? And do you think a similar approach could eventually evolve in China? Okay, so I think a different company have a different approach to enter this market. Uh, as I know, Google is very uh, emphasized the e-commerce world, so they try to enter this market. So I think the Google approach is uh, you know, use their platform, just their user, 
to make it the local merchants to to send the deal by themselves, right? But our approach and the Groupon approach is that we heavily rely on our sales team to acquire the you know uh, merchants and uh, use the better merchants, better products, better price to acquire you know users, attract the users. So I think it's a different way, but we try to solve the same problem. But in China, I don't believe you know um, self services uh, Groupon model can succeed right, yeah. in a short period of time. Right. George, one last question that many, many people I'm sure have in the room here, uh, and then we, we finish off. How can group buying be profitable in China? Who, will, who and how will uh, the players in this market find a way to build a profitable business? In the United States, uh, also internationally, this group model is profitable. Group is highly profitable in China. None of the players is profitable yet. How will this be achieved eventually? What's okay. your... <laughs> What's your outlook? There's a big challenge for all of the uh, Tango players in China. Uh, certainly, as you said, right, the Groupon model in the U.S. Uh, Groupon is uh, grow fast in the terms of the, you know uh, trade volume and uh, revenue as well as a profit. So this is why you know Groupon's value is so high in China because of so many players enter these markets, competition so strongly. Uh, everyone wants to be uh, to be the in the top top ten, top five position. You know, so I think this is a competition because of competition in there. So to make the everyone cannot get the high margin business. But I truly believe um, in the future, it's not that many. Ninety nine percent of the Tango player will go, go and die because they don't have uh, money support. They don't have enough size. Uh, so by the end of the day, there's around 10 players across the country uh, as a national player. At that time, I think you know, we will have uh, better you know, margin situations. And also, as a Groupon type of business involved, uh, uh, I think we will come out a lot of you know uh, different monetization models, different mm. you know uh, business combined with uh, uh, Tango thing. Right. As I said, you know, right now, D to try to build a whole marketing system. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, George. This is really exciting. I could go on for, for one hour, and I think you know, there's a huge interest in this topic. Unfortunately, uh, we're a bit over time, and I think uh, people are, are longing to go for lunch. Yeah. Uh, I hope we can continue the discussion uh, outside over, over lunch. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much for, for being here today. Yeah, thank you. Thank Welcome. you, everyone. Thank you.